Now, I'm often asked about overlaying roofs, overlaying over old felt, overlaying over all sorts of different things and, and whether you should do it or not. Well, so often I'm asked, I thought I'd do this video because I know I can send it to different people to, to, to understand it. And as long as you know what you're overlaying, it's fine. You can overlay with all sorts of things. But our preferred system of overlaying, without a doubt, is the fleece back. EPDM rubber, which this is. It's got a fleece on the back, very similar to, to what's underneath this in respect of a fleece. And there's a major reason why we prefer that. And the reason being is that when you glue this down, you're not gluing the EPDM. If you look at this, this piece of EPDM here, which hasn't got any fleece on it whatsoever, you're gluing the rubber to the wood and it becomes solid. The thing is with this is that you're not gluing it to the roof. You're not gluing the EPDM to the roof. You're gluing the fleece to the roof. So if you have expansion and contraction in the roof, then what happens is, is that it breaks all the hairs and you get the virtues of the, of the rubber being able to stretch. So it's more forgiving. Now, this is a, a, a liquid system. It's a solid liquid system. And by the way, I videoed all this when I was making it. So towards the end, if you want to stay towards the end of this, you'll see how I made this. And I'll just talk you through a little bit more about this one and also how I did this one as well. I mean, there's nothing special here, but the point being is some people might be interested in, in what goes on. So um, this is a really good, strong liquid system. This is our preferable one because you can tile over the top, you can do all sorts. But at the same time, if you look at it, it's a little bit flexy. And also look at that lovely quilt. It's really, really a bulletproof, strong system. However, right, it, it sticks to, it adheres to the background 100%. So if you're going over the top of, say, felt, where you've got joints in it, or you're going over the top of, uh, and I'm gonna show you some examples later on of a roof that we went over the top of, which was zinc. And the customer knew that when we went over that particular zinc roof, it was in a really bad state of repair, but it was a rented property, it was leaking all over the place, very difficult to do the job properly, strip it and redo it because of the height, and you'll see that on the video that I'm gonna show you. So we went over it, and we just capped the whole roof in, in this EPDM rubber over the top, knowing that it would take the movement underneath it. So a lot of people say, well, why wouldn't you just go over it with a liquid system? And this is the reason why. So this, when this was put together, the two boy, this was absolutely tight. This this here, and I'll, again, I'll show you this later on. And we did our wet on wet and embedded this over the top. Absolutely great, job done, finished. And we're over a, a crack. Now, if that crack decides to move, it doesn't matter how how flexible this top section is. It's the free part of it that can expand. So that joint was literally nothing. I mean, you look at that, that joint's hardly anything. Let's call it 0.1 of a millimeter. 100% expansion is only another 0.1 of a millimeter, which this could probably take. But if it moves a, a millimeter in width, this can't take it and it's gonna just rip it right down the center. Now, that's because it's completely stuck on this side and completely stuck on this side. And the only th free piece that can move is the center piece, which isn't stuck to anything. Now, if we look at this and you can see this isn't particularly floppy, it's held together quite well. I'm gonna open it up, right? I mean that, because it's a wet on wet situation, that has stuck to the base of that. That is really not coming up because of it being wet on wet, okay? Brilliant system, absolutely love it. So we move over here to this one, and this is our, this is our fleece bag. And again, we've got this joint down the center here. And again, this is assume it's 0 0.01 of a millimeter. But look how flexible that is for a start. That's number one. Now, bend it, that way, you can see it opening up and you can see that that is quite already an amazing amount. You can see that opening up there or flexibility that you're getting with that. But more to the point is that when you do this, if you look at the way it's stuck down 
And again, go to the end of the video, you'll see how I glued this up, which is typical way of gluing up EPDM rubber. Um, the, the, you can hear the, you can hear the, the, the um, glue coming away from the hairs. Brilliant, absolutely, really, really great. So now you've got all this free area here that can expand. You're not just relying on the most tiniest little piece here um, of expansion. You, you, you've now got this wider part where it's just pulling apart. So it can take a huge amount of expansion underneath it. This is why when we're overlaying, we really prefer to overlay using a fleece bag EPDM rubber more than a liquid system and even more than a, and a standard system. Um, one of the reasons is, is that not because you haven't got the flexibility in the, the standard system with nothing underneath it. It's more to the point is that this, flex, this, this fleece bag is such a more superior system than the uh, original um, EPDM slightly more expensive but it looks so much nicer because you can't see the joint in between it because of the slight cushioning it feels slightly thicker believe it or not the EPDM is, is the same thickness but it's just it just lays a lot nicer and I explained to some people that when you've glued when you've when you've applied your glue on a, a roof and you're out there in the environment and you've glued it all up and you've got it all lovely and you're just about to, there's once you've laid your EPDM down like this there's no bringing it back up again because you're using contact adhesive most of the time and you've got big sheets and as you're laying it down if a leaf or something blows into it because you're outside and you go over you can see lumps underneath it and they're not detrimental to the system whatsoever okay they just don't look nice and because it lays so nice and flat sometimes can people come up to us and go oh there's a little bubble in it or there's a little mark in it or something like that and it's not a thing of beauty okay however with this one you get away with a lot more so just pointing out to you why we overlay roofs where possible using EPDM now if you're interested stay to the end I'm going to show you how I built these few other little bits and pieces if you need any more information please always give me a phone call um, but let's go back I'm going to go into the to the office now and uh, I'll show you how I build these up now first of all I said to you I'd show you this roof that we went over so we overlaid this roof one of the reasons why we didn't replace the roof I mean and you can you can see how soft it is it's really soft underneath this there's lots of problems but it was so high up and so difficult to scaffold and it was leaking and we just needed to get it sorted out there and then we did a site survey with all the different uh, people involved and yeah that's what they wanted this is it um, you can see how high it is look at the way we've got the scaffolding around the outside for, for the protection and we could roll out all the uh, rubber underneath it and you know that I mean I'm going to show you closer pictures but you can see that actually looks pretty good even from there and that is uh, all EPDM everywhere all the way around nice flashings and it's covered it really nicely there's only a couple of places where it's it, like just there to the left hand side it's a little bit lumpy but it's, it's not the end of the world and that is beautiful really will move now I said to you I'd show you how this all works uh, I've speeded it all up but this is how we did the uh, the, the liquid system um, and this particular new system that we're using now which I, I normally don't name the systems um, people can ask me if they want to but this one we're really pleased about um, unfortunately when I did the um, this particular one um, I didn't video when I stuck them two together but basically you once they've gone off the glue you stick them together and that's it this is just me showing you what it looks like once it's gone off and and the way before I actually opened it and broke the back of it and this one I I'm breaking the back of and you'll, you'll actually hear this one crack I'll, I'll put the volume on as I do this um, you'll, you'll, you'll hear and you can see that because because the liquid drops down uh, in between it anyhow hopefully uh, this has been uh, helpful to anybody out there if you need any more information please don't hesitate to pick up the phone and give me a phone call or drop me an email send me photographs speak soon